<sighs> yeah, we did it! That was our best yet. I feel like we were really giving everything we had with that one. Oh, I need a rest. The only question now is whether we can do that in front of a hall full of people. Don't worry, we'll be fine. We prepared as much as we can. It's all in the goddess's hands now. <laughs> Maybe you're right. But when you put it that way, it sounds like no matter how much work we put in, it all comes down to luck in the end. If that's the case, we'll just have to coerce luck into staying on our side. <laughs> nice work, guys. I think we're right where we want to be. You play like you did just now for the actual concert, and we'll be golden. Thanks for all your help, Carl. If you're satisfied, I think our audience will be too. <sighs> what time is it even? Only 3 p.m. Wow. I thought it was evening already. <laughs> well, no one could accuse us of not being focused enough. I just want to go back to the dormitory and bury my face in my pillow. Rest? Oh, no, 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 no. No time for that now. See, the best concerts always have two aces in the hole. An unexpected surprise and an encore. Now that we've finally got the basics down, we can try pulling off something that'll pave our road to victory. What? Surprises? An encore? What? Please, tell me you're just kidding. You are, right? Wait, we're not seriously doing that. I thought you were just joking. Now, hold on just a minute. You aren't seriously suggesting that we add another song, are you? Ding, ding! He can be taught! Don't worry your pretty little heads, though. As soon as you hear what I've got in mind, you'll be all in on this. I've got a nice, simple tune in mind that everyone's heard, and most people probably even know the lyrics. Anyway, we haven't got much time to prep, so how about we get right down to business? Uh, you're a slave driver. Uh... Ah, you killed her! Hang in there, Emma. Uh, I think Crow is more fired up about this than anyone else. He's taking us on a ride one way or another, so we might as well just strap ourselves in.
couldn't beat. My brain's awake, but my body is exhausted. I guess at least a good night's rest will take care of the fatigue. At this point, all I can do is just pour everything I've got into the concert. Hmm. Wasn't there a music program that runs around this time? I could use something to wind down. I don't feel like reading, and there's not much else going on this late on a Friday night. Guess I'll just relax to I know I'll be showing Elise around on the second day of the festival. So, the only day I'll be roaming around on my own is tomorrow. If I get the chance, maybe I should meet up with some of the others to see what all of the other classes are doing. Huh? Testing, testing. One, two, three. Wait, we're already live? <clears throat> Excuse me? We interrupt your regularly scheduled broadcast to bring you this special news bulletin. This afternoon, Crossbell State issued a Declaration of Independence. This declaration was issued by the state government based on a recent referendum and carries no legal authority whatsoever. The Imperial government has issued an official statement that they refuse to accept the declaration as valid. And the president of the Calvert Republic, which also claims authority over the state, has made a similar statement. In spite of this, Crossbell's Mayor Croix has declared that the country will act as an independent state going forward, as well as announced the establishment of the Crossbell Defense Force, raising tensions both at home and abroad. Whoa! Students and visitors, thank you very much for your patience. Without further ado, I hereby declare the 127th Thor's Military Academy Festival open. Enjoy yourselves today and have a wonderful time.
Well, shall we begin? Please draw a card. After you, Master Reed. Well then, we have to draw again. Looks like I go first. Well then, we have to draw again. Looks like I go first. Well then, we have to draw again. Looks like I go first. I'm using a bolt. I'm using a bolt. <laughs> so that's how you want to play. Now then, how will you react to this? How will you react to this? <laughs> so that's how you want to play. <laughs> that was a wonderful match.
of the Academy Festival is nearly over. Thank you for coming today, everyone. I hope you'll join us for our second day of festivities. And for all of you prepping tonight for tomorrow's attractions, good luck. And try not to overexert yourself. something from the Academy. You did really well, Reen.
is this? It seems like there's some kind of force field. No idea what's powering it, though. Oh my! There's something very strange about this. Very strange indeed. This academy may have been founded by Emperor Dreykels, but this particular building dates back long before even his time, I believe. Principal Van Dyke, what are you all doing here? Reed? Ah, and Sarah's with you too! So, you've come. What's going on here? I'm sure you heard the tolling of the bell earlier. Apparently, as soon as that started, this barrier appeared. We've had several students testify that was the case, at any rate. Looks like it's covering the entire building. I tried the direct approach and hit it with a hammer, but it just absorbed the impact. Wow. So it's some sort of field that negates any physical force applied to it? We've known from the beginning that this building was one big mystery, but it seems we didn't realize just how big. Don't bother. It'd just be a repeat of what happened in Lohengrin Castle. Yeah, nothing we tried could even scratch that barrier. And this one seems a lot like it. Hmm. Gather the staff for an emergency meeting. I'm afraid we'll have to prepare for the worst. Yes, sir. I suppose we have no other recourse at this point. Toa. Going forward, let's assume that the second day of the festival and all related events will need to be cancelled. George, I'd like you to gather your equipment and keep a close watch on this area. Yes, sir. Understood. Wait! Are you really going to cancel the festival? Under these circumstances, there's not much else we can do. If the building is still like this tomorrow morning, there's no way we can let visitors onto the campus. We have no idea what's happening in there either. The risk of danger is too great. It's possible we might need to evacuate the Academy. Or even all of Trista. No way. Damn it, is that our only option? I guess from a risk management point of view, that's the only sensible course of action, but... <sighs> Over the past month, we've poured everything we have into getting ready for this festival. Maybe we wanted to prove we could put on just as good a show as the other classes. Maybe we wanted to impress our families. Maybe it's just that being with friends and working to make something great is its own reward. Reen? Yeah? That's all just secondary right now. What's really important is our chance to leave a legacy here. To do something new classes might look at and aspire to. Winning or losing, that doesn't really matter in the end. And it doesn't ultimately matter whether our show is a smash hit or totally tanks. Because what we worked for isn't fame or bragging rights. We worked to put on the best damn festival we could. So all I'm asking for is a chance to see that thrill. That's not too much to ask, is it? Oh. He's right, you know. I'm with Reen on this. <laughs> Perhaps the best we can put forth will amount to nothing in the end. But even if it does, as long as we have a chance to do something about it, we won't just take this line down. Yeah, we spent way too long practicing to just throw it all away. Besides, it'd be super lame if we missed a chance to strut our stuff! Since the beginning of the year, it's been our class's responsibility to investigate the old schoolhouse. That's right, and it just so happens that we haven't made our monthly visit yet. <sighs> you guys are actually serious. <sighs> sure looks that way. Man, hearing you guys so fired up brings a little tear to my eye. Well, I certainly admire your spirit, but spirit alone won't be enough to get you past this barrier. Oh, Green, what's that light? Huh? What is this? It's coming from your Arcus pouch. Yeah, but 
Why? Hmm. It looks like the quartz is shining. What? What's happening? Now all of our Argus units are glowing. What's going on? I doubt it's mere coincidence that this light is the same hue as the barrier. You know, this actually reminds me of our very first day in the old schoolhouse. Indeed, we were all connected together through our Arcus combat links. It does seem similar. <laughs> Mine's doing it too. Ooh, this is so neato! The time has come. Now reveal. Reen? Reen! Uh, are you okay? It almost looks like he's causing a sympathetic resonance with the field. feeling I'm getting. It's an invitation. Like I and the rest of Class 7 are being called in. I don't know what to say. I'm sorry, sir. I guess they ended up taking after their teacher a little too much. <laughs> then you've been a fine instructor. I stand impressed with your students. Besides, making the choices that define you is part of growing up. It's currently 1940 hours. I'll permit you until zero hundred hours to conduct your investigation. Any later, and you won't get enough sleep to put on a rousing concert after all. Sir... Then we can... You deserve the chance to earn that legacy you were talking about. To leave a light for those who'll come after. Go on. I'm not gonna chide you for being rash. Not this time, anyway. And may the goddess guide your steps. Don't forget, too, that discretion is the better part of valor. Retreating isn't always a cowardly option. Instructor Sarah. Instructor Thomas. Right. Understood. Be careful in there, everyone. We'll do whatever we can out here to back you up. I'll leave the engineering building open for the night, so come on over if you need to use the facilities there. I'll go ask the shops in the cafeteria to keep the lights on for you, too. You. We're counting on you. All right, let's go.
is this? Glowing cogs? We've seen some strange stuff in this schoolhouse and... Hmm... Confirming release of the sixth lock. Potential awakener detected. The time has come. Commencing the second trial. This looks the same as the red door we found on the fourth floor. But it seems like there's an even bigger surprise behind this one. I'm very curious about this sixth lock and second trial business. Do you think the locks refer to each of the floors we've cleared so far? What's a potential awakener? Is it talking about one of us? I can scarcely venture a guess. But what seems certain is that we're here tonight because we were meant to be here. Yeah. <laughs> Rain? Huh? Are you okay? It's a mark on your chest, isn't it? Yeah, it is. But how are you? Call it intuition. should already be quite apparent, but we're headed somewhere no living eyes have seen. Are you sure you're all prepared? Emma? Well, well. You certainly seem to be in the know about all of this. And how long has Celine been here? Meow. Back at the start of the year, I know we all had our doubts. We've made it this far because we've accepted each other for who we are. And I think being part of Class 7 is a big part of that. Even if the world were to stand against us, we'd have each other. The challenges we face, we face together. Rain. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. On my first day with Class 7, I was sitting in a room full of strangers. Now I know I'm standing among friends. That's Laura, cutting right to the heart of it. <laughs> yeah, I don't ever recall accepting him. I could say the same about you! <laughs> Some things never change, do they? Honestly, if they ever stop bickering, I'd probably miss it. It's just one of those things that makes us what we are. You said it, Short Stack. Don't know that there's much of a place for a slackadaisical second year either. What kind of talk is that? You two belong here just as much as the rest of us. And I think you'll have to agree, Emma. Class 7 is the best there is. <laughs> well said. Maybe I still have a ways to go before I fully understand the whole class system here. But I'm confident Class 7 is the finest Erebonia has to offer. Then what are we waiting for? No one might ever know what we do here tonight. We're not doing this to prove to others how great we are. We're doing it to prove it to ourselves. To face down our fear, conquer it, and earn the answers we deserve. Green. All right, I won't try to dissuade you. Let's go earn our chance to leave our mark on this academy. Yeah!
can find explanation. This is beyond imagination. Still, this trial is ours to overcome. And overcome it we shall. Yeah, you're right. So, how about it, Rain? Any words of wisdom from our fearless leader? Huh? What do you want me to say? Whatever you want, I guess. Gotta have a little pep talk before we begin the mission. Yep. Just think of it as another of our old schoolhouse adventures. Let's do this, boss man! <laughs> Just don't say anything you might regret later. <sighs> you guys aren't making this any easier. Alright, Class 7. Our mission is to explore the seventh floor of the old schoolhouse and find a way to return the building to normal. Are you ready to give this everything you've got? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 